a history of achievements, a tradition of setting new records. These are the trademarks of Merck. Great people, great ideas, and great research have created products that position the company at the forefront of the pharmaceutical world. But it's more than just great ideas that made Merck a leader in the industry. Questioning accepted standards and seeking out new methods is what leaders do. In 1930, pharmacology was a relatively new field, and pharmacology research was controversial at many American universities. Nonetheless, Merck brought Professor Alfred Newton Richards into the company and made him responsible for the development of a plan for future research. Richards created a first-class research laboratory, unique in the industry, and set the stage for the first partnership between academia and business. Merck soon began attracting some of the world's best qualified scientists to the Merck Institute of Therapeutic Research. In the 1930s, under the direction of Dr. Randall T. Major, Merck focused its efforts toward vitamin research. Within a few years, the Merck scientists had developed a process to synthesize vitamin B1. The product would soon account for over 10% of Merck's sales. Merck's reputation as a first-rate science company began to attract other top scientists from around the world. In the 1940s, again in partnership with a university professor, Merck was able to create the first mass-produced antibiotic, streptomycin. This new drug would revolutionize medicine. Tuberculosis and other contagious diseases could, for the first time, be controlled. Throughout its history, Merck's passion for research and commitment to success has produced a great number of drugs that have improved and in many instances saved millions of lives. The story of HIV research at Merck is another great example of excellence in science with a profound impact on society. In the mid-80s, the HIV virus was isolated in the laboratory. This virus showed great resistance to known drugs. When Merck set out to understand how the virus worked, they discovered an enzyme called protease that was critical to HIV's replication. The researchers began looking for a substance that would suppress protease action, thus preventing the virus from reproducing. They called it protease inhibitor. Always in search of new solutions, Merck scientists turned their attention to Silicon Valley, where advanced computer systems were being developed, allowing chemists to work with three-dimensional molecular models. Through this technology, Merck researchers were able to design a molecule that would prevent the HIV virus from replicating. Crixivan was the result of this effort, Merck's most aggressive research program ever. However, Merck realized that HIV disease is most prevalent in impoverished developing countries where medical care is hard to get and resources are scarce. To address this situation, Merck joined with the United Nations and other organizations to form the HIV Accelerated Access Initiative. This initiative strives to find ways to broaden access to medical care for HIV-related illnesses. Through these efforts, Merck has made discounted medicine available to over 100 nations, and life-saving drugs are now reaching patients in nearly 50 countries. In the mid-70s, the new director of R&D, Roy Vangelo, set out to face the problem of increasing costs of bringing a new drug to market. His goal was to help the research scientists to focus their efforts by eliminating projects that were unlikely to succeed. Vangelos decided that Merck scientists would base their work on three important criteria. They would develop drugs for diseases that had no therapies available. They would only work in areas where the science was advanced enough to allow them to make a breakthrough. And the final criteria, they had to have enough knowledge of the disease to come up with an idea 
of how to cure it. High cholesterol was a condition that satisfied all three criteria. In February 1979, the Merck scientists isolated a compound that prevented the liver from producing cholesterol. They called it Mevacor. While Mevacor was being developed, Merck worked concurrently on a stronger synthetic form of the drug. That synthetic medicine, named Zocor, would be available a few years later. At that time, it was estimated that over 50 million Americans suffered from high cholesterol, but only 2% were being treated. To help create patient awareness for the breakthrough product, Merck decided to try something no pharmaceutical company had done before. It would market its new drugs through extensive commercial television advertising aimed at consumers instead of doctors. Mevacor and Zocor quickly captured more than 40% of the global market for cholesterol-lowering drugs. One of Merck's oldest and strongest traditions is serving the health needs of society. River blindness is a devastating disease found in tropical regions of Africa and Latin America. It is caused by a parasite that infects the eyes of its victims, causing blindness. Merck's earlier research in animal health products had developed ivermectin, a highly successful product used to control parasites in livestock, horses, and dogs. Further development produced a human formulation, Mectazan, which could prevent river blindness and eliminate the suffering of millions of people at risk. But the populations in those developing countries could not afford to buy it, and their governments didn't have the means to get Mectazan to the millions who could benefit from it. Following its tradition of service to society, Merck made the decision to provide the drug free. Every year, over 30 million doses are supplied in some of the most remote areas of the tropical forest. And in September 2002, Merck gave away its 250 millionth free dose of Mectazan. This generosity has been possible due to the tremendous success of many of its products. Merck was the first pharmaceutical company to create a medicine with over a billion dollars in worldwide sales, Vasitec. High blood pressure affects about a quarter of the adult population, over 50 million Americans. Merck researchers discovered a new class of drugs they called ACE inhibitors, which could reduce a patient's blood pressure without the side effects that most of the other treatments produced. First available as a hypertension treatment in 1985, Vasitec was an instant success with doctors and patients. The sales it generated were phenomenal. Merck continued developing new breakthroughs. Kozar was the first in a new class of A2 antagonists. It became the most successful launch of any hypertension medicine in the 1990s. While drugs are usually thought of for treating disease, preventing disease is just as important. The impact of Merck vaccines on public health worldwide is evident in the case of MMR2, the vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella. The world's first genetically engineered vaccine for human use came from Merck in 1986. Recumbivax HB continues to be widely used in the United States to prevent hepatitis B. These and other vaccines contribute over a billion dollars per year to Merck sales. Setting new records, reaching new heights, these have been the driving forces throughout Merck history. Merck's key products have made life better for people around the world. And many other Merck medicines have revolutionized the treatment of disease for patients across the globe. Merck spares no effort in exploring and developing new products and is unmatched in breakthrough research. These tremendous efforts have not only made Merck stronger today, but it is better positioned than ever before to face the future. In 2002, 
research and development spending amounted to nearly $3 billion, which will increase another 10 to 12 percent this year. Merck's dedication to its principles has benefited the health and improved the quality of life for millions of people with innovative medicines. Today, Merck has reaffirmed and broadened its concept of service to the health needs of society. Merck's scientists and employees embody the company's values. Excellence in execution, perseverance, preparation, and customer focus. These are key values that have made Merck one of the top companies in the world. Each of us, as a member of this extraordinary family, has a unique opportunity. Through our dedication and preparation, and with the never-ending desire to excel, we can become the new record breakers and take our company to new heights. Through our efforts and working as a team, we will claim our place in history. Join us as we search out and explore the records and achievements that will shape our future.